So, welcome again back to another day of In Tune, five day emotional release. Today's topic is going to be around the topic of sadness, which is something that we all try to avoid. It's not a desirable emotion, but is part of the core emotions that we have as humans. So trying to repress when sadness does come up, again, is going against the natural flow of our emotions and what we're trying to experience as humans. So there's only going to be a few exercises for today. And I appreciate that some of the other exercises of the days before may have already brought up emotion such as sadness or grief. But some of the emotions today that we'll be going through, it may seem a bit counterintuitive to be forcing sadness, especially if you're having a day where you're already feeling very good. So again, these are more tools for you to be using as and when these emotions come up and to just honor the process of these five days to go through and learn these different tools so that when you do have sadness or grief arising in your life, you have the tool to use to express this. So one of the other moves that you can also do to help with grief, especially if you're feeling the heaviness in your chest, is called the grief pose. Now you can also still use your emotional release breath when doing this. You can make any sounds that need to come out it's very simple. Essentially, you're going to be standing up, putting your arms up into the air, flailing the back, and feeling, exhaling. So again, breathe in, exhale. It's going to sound very dramatic. It's going to feel very unnatural. It sounds like something from a movie, but again, it is over-accentuating this so that the emotions can come out. So we'll do a few more to show you. So this can also be called the wailing pose, the crying pose, and that's really the energy you want to be evoking here is the, the deep grief, the wailing, almost as if you've just lost your town in a siege and you're crying at your doorsteps. It's really a deep, deep emotion that we all have witnessed and felt as humans, whether or not in our lifetime, but also in history. And it's also something that we should honor as well.